Okay, folks, Grandpa Gaming here. Uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is give a uh, impartial and honest review on this new game called Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. I played the off Ultimate Fishing Simulator 1 and it was quite fun. <clears throat> I was given a free CD key. Um, I was told that I would get uh, possible free CD keys in the future for giveaways on the string. So um, right now, <clears throat> we're going to get right into the uh, review. So far, uh, for pre-release, the game is very well put together. Um, you have um, your equipment here. And then you have a shop that does not require real life money to buy. Uh, in this shop, you'll see you have rods, reels, lines, floats, leaders, feeder baskets, uh, most likely for carp, hooks, baits, lures, sinkers, and accessories. Um, <clears throat> in the little video, it looks like they're actually going to have uh, provisions for boats um, here in uh, you also have tournaments that you can pay in-game money that you earn with your catch this profile fishing net is what you where you keep all your fish and you'll see here you just go in uh, game time played so far for me is uh, four hours and I'm at level five. Fish caught 77, tournaments won. I haven't entered any tournaments because I don't want to spend the money. I want to, you know, see how far I can get. Um, right now, um, this is uh, what I have. These stars here are my personal best so far. Common brim, European perch, and your uh, another European perch. This being this one here being a little heavier. Um, so you keep the fish; they go into your net, and then you can come back and sell the fish. But you can also do this when you catch a fish. You can release it. If you release the fish, you get more XP. Um, here, um, I have three trophies. Uh, one of them is a pike. One is an asp. And the other one, I believe, is a brim. So, uh, let's get into fishing. Uh, the fishing is quite realistic um, you hold down you have a little bar down at the bottom of the black bar you hold down you don't have to hold it very long and then you make your cast and I'm way up in there so then you right click again to put tension on your line and yeah right now I have a bobber and a worm and you'll see the bobber and I'm just gonna you know play a little bit and when a fish is on the bobber will go down and you'll see the pole bend and then you right click uh, until you see a double action on your uh, pole to set the hook so it's it's very realistic uh, action you can set your drag and your reel speed Now on the first map, your starter map, I actually uh, was sitting or standing on a little pier, a dock, and I was jigging. I was actually jigging, lifting my pole up by th this action here, 
just right right click and the jig was coming up and f the lure would fall and fish would hit it so it's it's very realistic and if you're a fisherman like I am um, this this game is right on right on I would recommend this game to anybody the bird sounds are uh, realistic you got ducks floating around the graphics are great um, uh, there, there are a few things that are listed in the game that you don't have access to yet. Access, not access, access to. And that is the underwater camera on uh, normal mode. I am on realistic mode. And on normal mode, I could not access the underwater camera. And Eagle Eye, um, which I believe they put in the game for sight fishing uh, the eagle eye doesn't work here we go set the hook boom you saw that double twitch action there oh he I don't think he got on oh nope he's still here all right and just oh he broke off oh that was a big one oh my pole broke oh no that's a first so that was a big fish. So now I'm going to have to go and buy a new rod. <laughs> well, uh, they do have free rods. <coughs> okay, um, this is a, we'll add to the card here. This is a stiffer rod. Okay, now you go back, go to your equipment, uh, go here, and go here, and use this rod. Uh, we'll choose, um, a, you know what, let's go back and see if we have any high vis. The one thing that I, I, um, that I'm finding hard to see in the game is the line itself and your bobber. Um, most fishermen in real life, they watch their line or they watch their bobber. You only have an indicator for your bobber, but I would love to see the actual bobber in the water. Uh, another aspect is to have an indicator on which direction you're going to cast your lure. You don't have that right now. I hope they add it in the future. <clears throat> so other than that, for a pre-release game, it is um, very well put together. And I would recommend this game. I give it a 8 out of 10 right now. And hopefully they will add the suggestions in the future. Uh, now, what was I going to do? Um, oh, floats. Carp float, Bob Tech, Cricket float, Slider. <clears throat> Flying Rocket. Let's Add that by now. Go back home here. Uh, we'll choose earthworm. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Choose here. Choose. Choose this. And now your worm. So the UI is is really easy to follow through. So there that my set two is now set up. Let's go back. Now this is now I'm going to cast. See, I didn't hold it down long. 
and see I could barely see the lure out there see the lure Now, once you have access to the underwater camera and eagle eye, it'll probably be better. But I don't think there's <clears throat> those are going to be available for realistic mode. There goes a, what is that? That's a fish. <coughs> Yeah, that, that is a fit. Oh, he's going right towards my lure. My bait. There he goes. Set the hook. See, you do the... You bring him up and reel down and bring him up and then keep right click and then boom, you bring him in. And what is this? Uh, new personal record. A tench. All right. So, there you have it, folks. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, I recommend the game for anybody. And hopefully soon I will have um, CD keys to give away on stream. And I will be streaming this tomorrow, which is 9-7-22. And I'll probably begin around 12 noon. Be safe, be honest, and remember, games just aren't for children.